Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. AWS cloud computing products and services currently host over a third of the entire internet. The closest competition is Microsoft Azure with only 18% of the market share. With more companies migrating to AWS, an investment in cloud computing certification is a safe investment. Their platform is the most cost-effective, reliable, secure, and scalable cloud computing service on the market. If you're looking to build credibility and confidence within the AWS environment, taking the AWS SysOps Administrator Associate exam is a great starting point. Obtaining an AWS certification could lead to a new IT job or a way to move up in your existing organization. But I must warn you, it isn't a walk in the park. The test is extensive. If you don't have experience deploying, managing, and operating each service within the AWS system cloud environment, you'll be wasting your time. In today's video, we're gonna cover everything that you need to know about how to prepare for the exam and get that new certification. We're gonna discuss the basic details of the exam, the best resources and study guides, key concepts you need to know, and how long that we would recommend that you study. As always, if you have any questions as you watch this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video or find it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. So let's jump into it. So let's start with an overview. Now, when you're properly prepared, you can schedule an exam through AWS. You'll be given 130 minutes to complete 65 questions. The exam consists of two types of multiple choice questions, one with a single correct answer and another with multiple correct answers. Participants are scored on a scale of 100 to 1000 with a passing grade of 720. There is no penalty for guessing and unanswered questions are counted as incorrect. One great perk of passing the exam is you'll be awarded a 50% coupon for all future AWS certifications. Now let's discuss resources and study materials. Of course, the best way to pass the AWS SysOps Administrator Associate exam is hands-on experience. If you haven't worked in the AWS SysOps environment, several online platforms will help you prepare. Now let's discuss resources and study materials. Now, of course, the best way to pass the AWS SysOps Administrator Associate exam is hands-on experience. Now, if you haven't worked in the AWS SysOps environment, several online platforms will help you prepare and personally, I'd recommend Linux Academy or Udemy. But I can't stress this enough, nothing will prepare you more than getting your feet wet and your hands dirty. Install the AWS command line interface and get busy deploying and managing systems. For future AWS certified cloud administrators with work experience, online course prep isn't necessarily necessary we do encourage you to check out the exam guide and sample questions provided by AWS. Use the AWS documentation to answer any questions you have about deployment, management, and operations on AWS. Now let's have a look at the key topics covered on the exam. According to the study guide provided by AWS, the exam covers monitoring and reporting, high availability, deployment and provisioning, storage and data management, security and compliance, networking, and automation and optimization. To pass the exam, participants need to understand designing highly available and fault tolerant systems at a high level. You will be tested on controlling the flow of data, selecting the appropriate service, and identifying the use of operations while using best practices outlined by AWS. AWS recommends at least a year of experience managing AWS native applications to pass the associate level exam. So how long do you need to study? Well, the time required to study is dependent on your understanding of the AWS cloud. If you already have experience migrating workloads, managing cloud systems, and deploying applications to the AWS environment, you don't need to pull all nighters studying. After reviewing the exam guide and sample questions, you will have a good idea of how much preparation you will need to pass the exam. The SysOps Administrator exam is known as the most difficult of the associate level AWS certification. If you're unfamiliar with the systems outlined in the exam guide, then you may want to try the Architect Associate or the Developer Associate exams. So there we have it. We've looked at the basic details of the exam, 
the best resources and study guides, key concepts you need to know, and how long you should think about studying for the exam. As always, if you still have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, found it interesting or helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.